So here we are again. We're back for the Women's Six Nations round two. And to be fair, round one for me, in terms of fantasy, was pretty decent. I scored 414 points. That was ninth in our JG Rugby League. And obviously the standouts, Ellie Kildun scoring 75 points, two tries and a player of the match. Absolutely unreal. Just a shame I didn't captain her. Outside of that, Grant, 50 points as well, was absolutely huge. Also scoring a try. And other try scorers as well, Tui Pilotu got on the score sheet, as well as Marley Packer, my captain, which I was pretty happy with. But 56 points wasn't too great as a captain, I thought, especially when you've got like Grant and Kildun. Outside of that, Gallagher also scored 35 points, pretty decent, and Bourdon Sansouz as well, 33 with another try. So I was quite happy with the first round. This week, the fixtures, I'd say, probably are a little more difficult. Obviously, last week we had France at home to Ireland. Also, England against Italy was just, well, total runaway. And obviously, Wales-Scotland was a really t- close game. But I think this week a little bit tougher. So, Scotland are home to France. England home to Wales, which I would imagine we want to be targeting. And then Ireland, Italy. Um, Ireland actually didn't do that badly, I thought, against France. So we'll have to see what they come up with at home against a pretty poor Italy performance. But as usual, if you do enjoy the content, like Fantasy Rugby, then please subscribe to the channel. As I always say, we're building a really good community. And to be honest, we're having a good push to 4,000 subscribers. My target is next year to get to 5,000. So if you're new, please subscribe and stick around. So let's get straight into it. So in the front row, I have actually gone for Dijagang, who actually did pretty decently last time out. She got a breakdown steal, a fair few tackles, but meters carried not too bad, 26. But I, I was watching the game and to be honest, she's one of Ireland's most prolific ball carriers. So 23 points for me was not too bad last week. But also her Irish partner, Neve Jones, scored 29 points, also got a breakdown steal. And that'll definitely be needed, especially if Italy are to come back with possession. And also, I've gone for Say again. Didn't perform too greatly last time out, but also pretty much is a, a budgetary concern as well. Then in the second row, I've gone with Fall, who did get player of the match last time out and also a try. So I'm hoping for good things this time. Obviously, they've got Scotland away. I'm maybe not expecting to score 34 points again, but I'm hoping that she, well, has a prolific game. And I've also gone with Monaghan, who's back for, for Ireland. They're at home to Italy, and she's also the captain. So I'm hoping for good things. In the back row, I've kind of kept it similar. So I've got Marley Packer, who's my captain again. She scored 28 points last time out. Not too bad. Almost racked up 50 metres. Also a try and a breakdown steal. So if she can have more involvements, which I'm sure she will, then I think she'll be flying. I've also kept Menage, who performed pretty decently. Meters carried over 120, which is pretty mental for a back row player. Also scored 29 points, which I was very happy with. And they're against Scotland. Have taken Evie Gallagher out, which might be a mistake this round, but I'm hoping Menage has a better matchup just in terms of the teams. And then I have gone with Alex Matthews, who was brought on off the bench um, last time out. Didn't do too much, scored five points, but I'm hoping Alex Matthews at eight for England against Wales, who I would imagine, well, maybe one of the poorer sides in the tournament. I think it's, uh, yeah, match made in heaven. Then into the halfbacks, I've kept board on Sanssouz because, well, why not? She scored a try and an assist and also got a breakdown steal. 33 points. Thank you very much. I have also brought Helen Nelson in, uh, who actually did pretty well. So two conversions and two penalty kicks. And also a breakdown steal. There seems to be a theme with my players this week. Scored 29 points, which, well, if she does that again, especially against France, certainly be happy. So I'm hoping for another decent week. Then in the centres, I have changed it up. So, centres didn't do too bad, uh, too great for me last week. Thompson did okay, but that's only because of a 50-22. So, I have brought in Higgins for Ireland, who didn't do too badly. 19 points last week, 
but does have a better matchup this week with Italy at home. And then I've also gone with Smith for Scotland. Now she's down as a centre, but does actually play 15. Scored 15 points last week, not that good, but did get an assist. So I'm hoping with them being at home this week that they kick on from their Wales win. And then we've got the back three. So I have kept Grant, obviously scored me 50 points last time out. Such a good game, player of the match as well. Similar, Ellie Kildern, player of the match two, and also two tries. Racked up over 200 meters carried, and obviously 75 points, which wasn't too bad. Was debating whether to captain her this week, but I have stuck with Packer. And then I've also gone with Arbe for France. So quite a cheap option on the wing. Scored 19 points last time out, which is not too great, but I'm hoping being a budget option for France, I'm hoping they can kick on from their win last week as well. Then for my super sub, I have gone with Connie Powell. She came on last week, scored 22 points after scoring a try, but 55 metres carried, and that was coming off the bench. So I'm hoping England at home against Wales, it's going to be physical. And I think she'll come on pretty early like she did last time, about 50, 55 minutes. So I'm quite, quietly confident with this one. So that is my team. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and also put your teams and suggestions down below. I think I've gone pretty decently. I've targeted some good fixtures, but also on form players as well. So I'm hoping that pays off for me. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, but also, as I said, leave a comment as well. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new. But thanks for watching all and I'll see you in the next one.